So when my driver comes, I tell him I went on to Club 68, okay? Okay. Good night, Miss Ray. Good night, Tony. My husband and my baby. Now, just a minute. Who are you? Oh, no, you don't know me. But you knew him, my husband, because you killed him. No, Stuart Vane. When did he die, your husband? Twenty years ago. Okay, okay. Look at me. Look at me. How could I have killed your husband 20 years ago? I was just a child. I was just a little girl. I know that was her. I know that was Dorian Gray. I...
Henry? I brought you something. Your favorite chocolates, the ones from London. Dorian was completely unchanged. As beautiful and as youthful as the day I first saw her. Of course, I knew why, and yet it still didn't seem possible. Aren't you going to say hello, at least? It has been ten years, Henry. She looked exactly as she had thirty years ago. Action! Of course I'll pose for you, Paul, but only if you let me keep the picture when it's finished. I don't want anyone else to see it. It's too personal. If something happens to it, something will happen to me. I know it. Okay, now this is the scene I particularly wanted you to see. Quiet, please, everybody. Mark it. Dorian Gray screen test. Scene three, take one. Okay, everyone. We're going again. This is the third scene. Quiet, please. And... I had arrived early to meet my wife, and waiting unseen in a booth at the back of the theater, I saw the picture of Dorian for the first time. You like your painting better than your friends, Paul. I might as well be one of your bronze statues. Look up. And turn your head towards me. You're not being very cooperative today. And stop frowning. Paul? What would you do if I told you I want to make love with you? Would you stop painting and come to me? Or would you try and capture the expression? Hmm? That's the last reel, Mrs. Lord. Let me know if you want to see it again. I haven't seen myself on a film before. It's strange. It's one of the best tests I've seen. You're special. Very special, Dorian. That's just an image. That's not me. Of course it is. It's the picture. That's what you're seeing. That's what you like. Come on, don't be silly. Okay, Jerry, that's it for today. I wonder how I'd feel if I saw myself on this film 20 or 30 years from now. What do you mean? It'll be exactly the same as it is today. But I will have aged. You know, like those actresses who watch their old movies on television. I wish it was the other way around. I wish it was the picture that got old and suffered and aged and I stayed the same. Would you really want that? <sighs> to stay young forever? I'd give anything for that. I used to be a model for my husband's cosmetic company. When it was over, I moved on. We have to. Years pass, we all change. Nothing can stop that. Sophia? What are you going to do with the film now that you've seen it? Store it away with all the others. Why? Could I have it? I feel like it's part of me. I see no reason why not. If you do the part. Immortality. Man's oldest dream. And of course the tragedy as we get old is that we're still young. Won't you introduce me? Dorian? This is my husband, Henry. Dorian Gray. The Plaza Grill is closed tonight. It's Monday, remember? I'd forgotten. So let's make it Orsini's attempt, shall we? I certainly hope to see you again, Miss Gray. Your test is really quite remarkable. The camera seems almost capable of reading your thoughts. A dangerous quality, but 
An appealing one. Before I forget, sir, the secretary asked me to give you this. Oh, yes. We're going out to breakfast, Parker. To Brooklyn. Indeed, sir. Well, you can't refuse a glass of champagne today. It's bad luck. <laughs> Who put you up to this? I'm not uh, susceptible to being put up to anything, Miss Grant. I do as I choose. You have a wonderfully interesting face. Especially when it's not frowning. Look, I gotta get back to work. Uh, I think you'll find you have the uh, rest of the afternoon off with pay and tomorrow as well. <laughs> What's this all about? Well, if I tell you, it would spoil the one thing that makes life interesting, not knowing what lies ahead. Look, assuming that giving in to a temptation is the only way to get rid of it, shall we say that Parker will pick you up at 9 tomorrow morning? Who's Parker? You're doing it again, Miss Graham. Tracy, her forehead's a little shiny. You want to take care of that? Hi. I'm so nervous. Oh, don't be. You look fabulous. A little art and a lot of natural. You're doing good. Tracy, yeah. play the shot, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You want me longer? Okay. Over here. Down a bit. A bit more. Chin down a bit. A little bit of a smile. No, not too much. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. Okay, and... Marie Rose? Yeah. It's a uh, camera reload. Okay. Stuart? Yes. Coffee with cream for our lady, please. Line in. Oops. Cream. Yes. Thanks, Stu. Sure. Thank you. My eyes feel a bit strange. Do they look all right? Let's have a look. Just look up. Oh, they look all right to me. <laughs> I'm not used to this much makeup. You ever done any modeling before? Modeling? Modeling for what? Mystique. Henry Lord. Oh, what's Mystique? The lipstick you're wearing. Powder, perfume, clothes, listen, you name it. You've never heard of them? <laughs> Are you a New Yorker? No, I'm an actress. All right, everybody. Back into position. Funny lady. <laughs> Chin down, this side. Uh, that's great. Been in photography long? A couple days a month, if I'm lucky. That Campbell likes me, so if he gets an important shoot, he calls. If money helps. Is that all you do? No, I bartend. Do a little extra work. Play piano, sing. Yeah, professionally? No, for friends, mainly. I just enjoy playing. No commitment, no pressure. Just for me. Mm. I'd like to hear sometime. Dorian. What are you doing Friday night? Well, I was going to have dinner alone, but I'll try and cancel it.
Hello? Angela? Hello? Remember me? Okay, Angela. What's the problem? Stuart, I think I'm pregnant. We have to talk. This photographer is fantastic. Well, yes, Campbell's been doing all our ads for years. He's, uh, he's the best. Are these for Sophia's film? Uh, actually, they're not. These are pictures of the new Mystique model. Let's just permit the plot to thicken, shall we? Mr. Lord, I received a check from your company today. Yes? Whatever this mystery is, I think I've been overpaid. Well, just uh, think of it as pocket money. Victor, this is Miss Gray. You two may be seeing a lot of each other. going on here? These are my things. You took these from my apartment. How'd you get in there? Actually, Parker bribed your janitor with a case of Russian vodka. So why didn't you tell me up front what the pocket money was for? You could have saved yourself a lot of time and trouble, Mr. Lord. The new mystique girl. What happened to the last one? Greta Harland? This was her last uh, cover. She's beautiful. Yes, and if she could lose five years the way she loses five pounds, she'd still be working for us. Would you please explain exactly what is going on here? Of course. Mystique is one of my companies, and we'd like you to consider taking over from her. Doing that? Modeling? Well, there's a, uh, a bit more to it. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot more to it. Would that be a problem, Miss Gray? You're damn right it would. Especially since you're married to the woman who gave me this opportunity in the first place. One set of keys, the only set. You see, the apartment goes with the job. It's just another detail in the mystique girl fantasy. Not an act of generosity or extravagance, just a tax-deductible item. Uh, like you. Mrs. Lord? Mrs. Lord?
I realize you're not sure. Look, the gods have been good to you. But what they give, they quickly take away. Live, Dorian. Don't be afraid of anything. Take it all. Why not? Yes, Victor. If you crave entertainment, everything's here. You even have your own rear projection system. You'll be able to admire your own commercials, larger than life. Four days out of the country, and you jumped right in. I thought we had a deal. I thought you were going to do my film. Ah, you European women, so clever at concealing your emotions. Haven't you got any conscience? Conscience? Me? Just a minute. Do I have a say in any of this? It seems to me you've made your choice. You make me feel cheap. Anyway, I don't see why doing some modeling will get in the way of your film. Don't be so naive, Dorian. By the time my film's in production, you'll be on the cover of every fashion magazine in the country. If the film's more important to you, do it. You wanted this, your screen test. Take a good look at yourself. And remember, if you still want that part, and it's yours. You and I have to talk. Dorian Gray screen test, scene three, take one. Okay, everyone. We're going again. This is the third scene. Quiet, please. And action. You like your painting better than your friends, Paul. I might as well be one of your bronze statues. Look up. Turn your head towards me. You're not being very cooperative today. And stop frowning. The picture seemed to hold a secret. Was it merely an illusion brought on by Dorian's troubled thoughts? Or had there suddenly fallen upon her brain that tiny scarlet speck that makes for madness? Because plainly Dorian could see that the image before her had altered. Try and capture the expression. Had started to prematurely age. I ran the screen test tonight. Is it the same film as you shot? Uh, I mean, is it the, the only copy, the one I have? Yes, why? I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem the same as the first time I saw it. It must be your projector. I gave you the only copy, the same one you saw at the theater. Dorian. If you change your mind, we have the first reading of the script tomorrow morning. I don't know. Don't count on me. I don't know if I can work for either of you. But I am counting on you. It's very important to me, Dorian. Tell me you'll be here. Dorian? Dorian, are you still there? Are you all right?
Extraordinary girl, isn't she? Henry, if you could only realize what Dorian Gray means to me. You see nothing in her, just the face you can paint. You're right. I do have the habit of choosing my friends for their good looks. Find another model, Henry. You don't need her. I do. All right. I won't interfere. The choice will be hers. Thank you. I love it when you beg for things. Your eyes get so wide and vulnerable. Good night. Miss Gray, mm -hmm. would you come this way, please? If you'd like to take a seat, Mr. Lord will be with you shortly. I hope you haven't come to apologize for having made your decision, Miss Gray. I'm sure it's the right one. Now they have the problem of deciding which of these girls to use. I rather like this one. What do you think? She's very pretty. Paper faces. Dozens of new ones every day. Yes, the only things I never regret are my mistakes. I hope you haven't made one this time, Mr. Lord. Because I do want all this. I'll get back to my acting in time. But for now, I want this. Are you sure? Yes. Well, I'll drink to that. It's funny. But I just had the feeling that you might be up to see me today. Thank 
you. That was great. Bill, how about another beer? That was wonderful. Beer for the lady also. You got a dime? It was wonderful. I'm so glad you came tonight. What's your favorite number? Four. Four. Really are good. Thanks. So why don't you do it professionally? So what's wrong with this? Twenty bucks a night, all the beer I can drink. These people don't care. They weren't even listening. And that's the way I like it. Listen, the fact that they sit around and don't listen is fine. I, I get to do what I want. I play how I want. What I want is. It really it couldn't be better. I tried a big club uptown once. I made it through, but it was really uncomfortable. I can't really explain it. I never tried it again. Things can change. Let's get out of here. I'm married. I know. How? I just did, a feeling. No, well, it's not much of a marriage, really. We've known each other a long time, since school. We were just good friends, really good friends, and we should have left it that way, but we didn't. Now she thinks she's pregnant. Would you stop it? I don't want to hear this. I don't love her. I need you, Dorian. I want you. I just don't know if I can do it. What if she is pregnant? Do you want me? Then take care of your problems first. When did you get back? Why didn't you call? To warn you. Oh, come on. Where have you been? I was at the bar, working. You left there three hours ago. I was with some friends. Who is she? What are you talking about? Who is she? Damn it, don't lie to me. I know you were with a woman. Just tell me who she is. Okay. I met a girl at the bar. I've never seen her before. Hell, she was the only person in the whole damn place listening to me play. We had a drink. Is that against the law? We had a drink. She listened to me play. Oh, tender. I told her I was married. Nothing happened. You're lying. Cut it out. You're lying. You always lie. Stuart, I was at the bar. I needed to talk to you and you were gone. Well, I don't have to take this anymore. Is that the only answer you have? To run away? Yes, it is. Oh, it's so easy, isn't it? Look at that. There isn't any beer around here. Look at the place! Look at that man! Would you look at it? Uh, don't start crying on me. Angela? Angela? Angela, what is it? Please, tell me. Talk to me. I went to the hospital. I came to tell you not to spy on you. They're sure I'm two months pregnant. Well, Stuart, I'm so frightened. What are we gonna do? Well, 
work something out. There's a young man. He sings, plays the piano. He's really talented. He needs a chance to prove himself. I know you could arrange something if you wanted to. And this is important to you? Yes, it is. Dorian, if you're going to have an affair, I'd suggest a prince or a president, not a bartender walking out on his pregnant wife whose sole ambition on earth is to play the piano for 20 bucks a night and tips. Is there anything you don't know about me? It's not as obsessive as you make it sound, Dorian. I'm simply protecting my investment. What if I told you that I love Stuart? I want to marry him. <laughs> I'd say get a good shrink and take it up with him. He really is talented, Henry. You'd know that if you heard him play. I did. I heard him last night. What did you think? I think you'd be disappointed. All right. I'll arrange it. But listen, Stuart Vane will never be anything more than the plaything of an idle hour. My advice would be don't try to change him. It never works. Applause on the sign. Sound rolling? Sound rolling. Calisini? Calisini, Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Take one. Music and applause fade in and under. Q deck. Stuart Vane? The guy's totally wrecked. What do you mean? Name it, he's on it. Booze, pills. A problem with fourth act. Vane can't make it. Okay, get Bill in for another number. Can you hear that? Get him out of here. Okay, Paul, we have a change in the fourth act. Bring Bill in for a second number. Camera two. Tighter. Tighter. Can you give him something? I got seven, maybe eight minutes. Great. Rick, I've got to talk to you. No kidding. Sorry. Look, uh, he's definitely not going on. He's Great. out of the show. Great. What? Uh, Dale is coming back for a second. Okay, just as long as I know. Um, what are you talking about? Did you announce him? Well, what's the difference? Nobody's going to remember his name anyway. Whatever it is. Stuart Vane. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, babe. You're going to have to talk to them. They, they just knocked me right out of the show. I guess I just took too many. Dorian, I... I just can't do this for you. Do you want to talk to him alone? No. I wasted your time, Henry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize for him. You were right. He's not who I thought he was. <sighs> or could be. Oh. Henry, I wanted... I wanted him. I wanted him so much. In this life, there are only two tragedies. One is not getting what one wants. The other is getting it. How would you respond to a dinner invitation from a well-dressed older man? I may not be able to play the piano, but at least I can walk. Dorian? Don't leave me. I just can't do it for you! to turn you into something you're not. You'll waste your youth trying to love him. Why do you take such an interest in me, Henry? Because there's so much in you that charms me. I keep thinking, what, 
What a tragedy it'll be if you waste it. Have you ever been in love? I've been um, obsessed, but that's not uh, quite the same thing, is it? Are you obsessed with me, Henry? Not quite the mistress of the direct question you've become. You don't want me? Oh, I never said that, Miss Gray. If I wanted you, would you disapprove? I never approve or disapprove of anything. Including the candid looks that that guy over there has been throwing you all evening. It really wouldn't bother you, no matter what I did. Well, could you... I never think about it again? I suppose I could. Why not? <laughs> that wouldn't be a sin. Sin? There's a word I hadn't heard for quite a while. Why do I like you, Henry? Because I represent all the misadventures you've never had the courage to commit. That sounds like a proposition. Does it? Yes, it does. So, could you? Could I make love with you? And never think about it again. Just as if it never happened. As if it never happened. I'm sorry, Mr. Vane, you can't come in. Miss Gray says nobody is allowed help. Miss Gray, it's Victor. Mr. Vane just forced his way in. He's on his way up, I'm sorry. Dorian? Dorian? Go away, Stuart. Leave me alone. Dorian, please let me in. I, I, I have to talk to you. There's nothing at all to say. Dorian, please. I just want to talk. I guess I really flaked out tonight, huh? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Look, I go to an early call in the morning. Just this for me. Help me. You don't think I tried to help you enough? And I let you down, is that it? Yes, Stuart, you let me down. You let yourself down. You're not the person I was in love with. Well, you think I planned tonight? You think I wanted that to happen? I told you, Dorian. I told you I wasn't cut out for it. So it's my fault you blew your big chance. I didn't do it for me. I, I didn't need that for myself. I did that for you. Stuart, go home. Just go home. You're in worse trouble than I even thought. I know how much trouble I'm in. I need you. 
I needed you. I thought I loved you. I thought you were strong, but you're not. You'll never make anything happen, Stuart. You just never will. Please. Go back to your wife. She's probably exactly what you need. Statues. Turn your head forward. You're not being very cooperative today. And stop frowning. Paul, what would you do if I told you I wanted to make love? I'm coming, I'm coming. Henry. Good morning. Good morning. I'm still half asleep. I only came by to tell you how sorry I am about Stuart. What do you mean? Well, it's terrible. I didn't exactly help him. I was nasty. But it's all right now. Everything's going to be fine. Oh. I am going to marry him. Marry him? Don't say anything, Henry. Two days ago, Stuart and I made a plan to be married. I'm going to keep my word. So, you didn't get my note? No. And it's probably just as well. There's bound to be something in it I wouldn't like, Henry. Dorian, Stuart's dead. Now, I'm sorry to intrude on you at this time, but I wanted to talk to you before anyone called. There will probably be an inquest, and you shouldn't be mixed up in it. What do you mean, an inquest? Well, he was on his motorcycle, and it's may not have been an accident. Poor me down to earth. I had fun with him. He shouldn't have killed himself. That was selfish of him. 
He could never have changed you, Dorian, even if you'd married him. I remember when you said good resolutions are always made too late. Mine were. He's not dead because of me, is he? I'm not a heartless person, am I, Henry? The face that looked back at Dorian had become cynical and cruel. In a spontaneous moment, she had uttered a wish that the picture bear the burdens of her sins and her age. Surely that wish had not come true. Such things are impossible. Yet ten years later, Dorian still looked exactly the same. Stay with me on the light a minute. And now, good. Change. And now, change. Tracy, kill the wind machine, please. Tracy, her right eye. Mm, how you doing, kiddo? So, so. God. Tracy, over there, there's a woman by the pillar. Where? I don't see anybody. There's Tracy. nobody, there's nobody there, Dorian. Well, she was there a moment ago. Okay, let's go. Tracy, out. Forget about the broken glass. Christian, another bottle. Campbell, I want to take a break. Another good ten minutes here and we can all go home. Just take the bottle. I'm not going to take the bottle, Campbell. I told you I want to take a break. You're really getting to be something, aren't you? What happened to the innocent little kid that came into my studio ten years ago? She grew up. All right, take it easy, Campbell. She's under a lot of pressure. I'll go talk to her. Look, uh, I know this is none of my business, You're but... right, it's none of your business. I asked for that. Hey, Trace, I'm sorry. If you can't tell me, I don't know who can. No one has held on to Mystique as long as you have. Now, don't go throwing all that away now, Dorian. I don't intend to. Well, just ease up a little. You mean on Campbell? Yes, you've worked with him for ten years. That's a long time. Campbell is just another photographer. 
How can you say that after all you've been through together? Hey, no one has to stay, you know. Well, they want to stay. They like working with you. They like the money. Ah, no, Dorian, you've got it all wrong. We're your friends. We understand what you have to go through. Do you? Yeah, I think we do. We're all in the same business. Tracy, you don't know half of it. Look, all I'm saying is that you can't do everything by yourself. You need friends. Henry Lord will never get another mystique girl till I'm ready to go. And he'll only know that when I tell him. Well, no one can go on forever. Why not? Increasingly remote and isolated, Dorian searched for sensations that were new, delightful, and above all, strange. She traveled the world to find them, and hour by hour, week by week, the picture was growing older. Reflecting pictures of the soul What do I think? I think I look like a freak. How can you say that? It's sensational. It's one of the best things we've done. I don't like it. Just take it off. Dorian. Tracy, I don't like it. Take it off. No, I'm not going to do that, Dorian. Don't push me too far, Tracy. We're only experimenting, Dorian. Henry Lord's the only person who will even see these shots. Now, he asked us to try something different. I am only going to tell you one more time, Tracy. You are being totally unreasonable. Campbell? Campbell! What's the problem? Get someone else to do my makeup. What? You heard me. Tracy's the best there is. Don't argue with me, Campbell. Just do it. I don't understand. We've been doing it this way for a long time. We're, we're a team. You know? We've been a team for a long time. I want her out of here. Dorian, we're your friends. Get her out of here, Campbell! Leave it, Campbell. I'm going. Look at me, Dorian. Look at me. I don't know what's happened to you, Dorian. Now, somehow, and God knows how, you've kept your looks. I mean, you're just the same as you were when we started this 20 years ago. Oh, but underneath it all, you've changed. You're just an image, kiddo. An empty, beautiful, vicious nothing. You destroy everybody who cares about you. And don't think you're going to do to me what you did to Stuart Vane. You killed Stuart just as sure as if you were driving that truck yourself. I hope you can live with yourself, because sure as hell nobody else can. What are you all smiling at? Campbell? I don't want that woman on my set ever again, you understand? Not ever! I think there's any danger in that, Dorian. Get out, all of you. Get out!
Who is it? It's me, Sophia. Happy birthday. Perhaps I should have come. He always calls first to warn me. Who calls? Victor. Dorian. I'm on my way to Paris. I'll be gone for at least six months, and uh, I wanted to see you before I left. I thought there might be something wrong. Some reason for the way you've been acting recently. Perhaps I can help. Protecting your husband's investment? No, it's not that. I hear all these stories about you. When you're not traveling about to strange places, you lock yourself away in this prison. I'd like to help. I once thought we could be friends. I know now that's impossible, but I still think about you. I feel somehow that I started all this, that it's my fault. You can't help me, Sophia. No one can. I can, if you let me. I feel I know you so well. <laughs> Look at me, Sophia. Look. What? I don't understand. Oh, look at me. Look at yourself. Can't you see how much older everyone is? Can't you see what's happening to me? You're still so lovely. You've hardly changed. <sighs> it's not that I've hardly changed, Sophia. I haven't changed at all. I don't understand. You're all so blind. Remember the screen test? I'll show you what you did for me. This is my secret. You are the one person in the world entitled to know everything about me. You've had more to do with my life than you think. You made it. Now you watch it. What would you do if I said I wanted to make love with you? Would you stop painting and come to me? Or would you try and capture the expression? Hmm? My God! That's what you did for me. Where did you get that thing? Remember the wish I made the first time I saw it? The wish that I'd never grow old. That's not what I shot. It came true. That's me. That's, that picture takes all the punishment. It grows older every day and I stay the same. And you're the one that created it. Take it out. Give it to me. It must be destroyed. Give it to me. I won't let you. That is mine. If anything happens to that, something terrible happens to me. I know it. I can feel it. Give it to me! Who's there?
Who's there? Diane, what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing? You've got to help me. Help you with what? I killed Sophia Lord. You're crazy. Tonight, I killed Sophia Lord. I stabbed her. Her body's in the apartment. What are you talking about? Tomorrow morning, go there. Take your cases. Camera equipment, lights, as if we're doing a shooting in the apartment. Put her body in one of the cases and get rid of it. You're going mad, do you know that? I can't. You can, and you will. What happened? She saw me. Saw what? Me. She saw what's inside of me. I'm not going to do this, Torian. If you really murdered her, I... I really murdered her. I won't do it. You owe me. Do you think you would still be taking mystique pictures if it wasn't for me? You haven't photographed anyone else in 20 years. Your hands shake, Campbell. You can hardly hold a camera. Everything you have, you owe to me. I'll take care of you. Is that all you can say? Of course you can. It's a nasty wound. I think we should call a doctor. It's fine. It'll go away fast. It always does. Okay. Dorian, it's Campbell. He's at the door and he wants to see you. Oh, well, let him in. Well, he wants to speak to you alone. Okay. Oh, this is, this is unbelievable. This part is great. <laughs> by you, Dorian. Do you realize how much they would pay? Well, I tell you what. I'll think about it. I'll let you know my price. <laughs> she and I said she'd let you know. Isn't she something? Are we all? <laughs> yeah, especially you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Campbell. Hey, want to come in? We're having a party. We gotta talk. 
I did what you asked, but it doesn't stop there. What do you mean? You were right, but one thing, I'll never work. I'll never take another picture, so I need money. Some sort of payment for what I did. <laughs> Damn it! You owe me something. And if I refuse? You won't. How much money? Hundred thousand. I'll uh, come by your studio tomorrow night. Be there.
murderer? You killed them both. My husband and my baby. Who are you? Oh, no, you don't know me, but you knew him because you killed him. Stuart Vane. Now, just a minute. Just a minute, lady. When did he die, your husband? When did he die? Twenty years ago. Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to... What? I want you to look at me. Just look at me. How could I have killed your husband 20 years ago? I was just a child then. I was a little girl 20 years ago. Okay? Okay? Just as sure as if you were driving that truck yourself. I know how much trouble I'm in. I need you. He's not dead because of me. Daria! Hello? Hello, Tracy. Yeah, who's this? It's Dorian. Uh, Tracy, can you talk? I... Uh, I need help. You're asking me to help you. Trace, I'm frightened. What's the matter? You find a couple of gray hairs? Please, Trace. You're the only person I can call. We were friends once, right? I'm not so sure we were. Look, whatever trouble you're in, you'll just have to straighten it out for yourself, because as far as I'm concerned, you could be burning in hell. Henry? It's Dorian. How soon can you get to the apartment, Henry? There's something I want to show you. If I said I wanted to make love with you, would you stop painting and come to me? Or would you try and capture the expression, hmm? Now you see who I really am. I can't live with this alone anymore, Henry. I'll go insane if I'm not already. It's the loneliness. I never wanted you to see it, or Sophia. Did uh, she see it like this? No. Yes, she did. Do you know where Sophia is, Dorian? What do you mean? Well, she never got to Paris. We know that. I've been frantic ever since she disappeared. What do you know about it, Dorian? Tell me. I had no choice. She tried to destroy the film. It would have been like letting her kill me. I was protecting myself. Henry. 
Don't turn away from me now. I need you. Help me. So you murdered her? No. No, it wasn't like that. It's all over, Dominic. Take the film and get out. Get out of this apartment. Get out of this city. Don't tell me where you're going. And never come back. And go on. Pray. If you remember how. Pray. Oh, Henry. Henry. Get out. I had no choice. I have no choice. Was it true that one could never change? Dorian felt a wild longing for the unstained purity of her youth. She went away and devoted herself to work, giving selflessly of her time to those in need. Never again would she tempt innocence. She would try to redeem herself. I brought you something. Your favorite chocolates, the ones from London. <laughs> Are you going to say hello, at least? It has been ten years, Henry. You must be tired. I'll come back later. No. Henry. I really have changed. I want you to know that. I've tried so hard to make up for everything. Please don't go to have had a chance to talk. I wouldn't know what to say. I don't even know why I agreed to meet you. I really have changed, Henry. I really have. It seems impossible. You're as beautiful as ever. Not a day older than when I first met you. It'll be another minute, sir.
going by screen test. Scene three, take one. Okay, everyone. We're going again. This is the third scene. Quiet, please. And action. You like your painting better than your friends, Paul. I might as well be one of your front statues. Look up. And turn your head toward me. Dorian had tried to kill the past, her terrible soul life. Now, without its hideous warnings, she was at peace. It was not until they had examined the rings on her fingers that they recognized who it was. Reflecting pictures of the sun 